Okay guys, here we are in Rustboro, and this is the first gym battle. Now, my start was actually a Torchic. Reason being is I went back and I changed it to start from scratch again, because my original Pokemon in Sapphire was a Torchic, so I thought if I'm going to do a Sprite, let's do it properly. Now I've already battled these guys. Now the problem being also with Torchic is a fire type, and this is a rock type gym. So, but thankfully, the Puchena I captured at the start, instead of knowing Fire Fang like with my Mudkip, this one actually knew Ice Fang. So I'm kind of wondering if it depends on what your starter Pokemon was, depends on actually what move the Puchena knows. So let me know guys um, what starter you picked and what move the Puchena knew when you caught it. This is the one you sneak and get by the way. So what I've got is, I have, I captured, um, well the sea, I forgot the seagull's called now, but I've caught one of those. So I've got a water type in the wings. I've also caught a tailor which actually knows steel wing, so I'm going with my little Shiva, which I named after Final Fantasy because of the ice type move. And of course this is handy because it'll have A, make him flinch, or B, it could freeze him. So... I'm hoping my speed will still be faster. I'm hoping. Let's hope for the best. Yes. Can we get a flinch? Can we get a flinch? No. Oh, I'm gonna be out. Oh, Shiva. Oh no. I have got my say my other one waiting, but like uh, if I can, I'd rather use. I think it's different. <laughs> Plus, if I, I know, as soon as I use the other one, it's going to be game over really quickly. Because, I mean, water types against rock and such ground types, it's, it's too easy. So it's just something a bit unpredictable, you yeah? Actually, I captured about eight or nine Talos, I think, and each one I named after a move it knows. I'm a bit gutted though, because when I had my Torchic, I did have one called Boomer. I forgot what the move was called. I named it after that for a reason. Now, if you have got a Torchic, of course, you can level them up to level 16 by keep battling like Pokemon in the woods and what have you. When I mean, he gets to 16, of course, he'll evolve and he'll know a fighting type move. But. I mean, you're still taking the chance. It's up to you, I mean, you know, if you want to take that chance. Oh, Rhubarb. He's got a really high special defense on that guy. He's quite high level, I suppose. I have a backup plan that what well, this could be a long longer battle than I thought. This is gonna hurt like hell. Be strong steel. Ooh, just hanging in there. Even then my speed is still strong enough. I sort of used a potion. Can she use two potions? Canis, you're up. Yes, because ironically my torchic's on fire. Uh, <laughs> there we go, alright. I'm hoping, because yeah, I'm such a high level, that was, I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. Oops. Come on, buddy. Ooh. Oh, if he'd used rock too, then he could have finished me off. I don't think she was toying with me a little bit there, guys. Yeah. So let's just forget a move here. I'm going to forget growl. If you get a chance, guys, check out my... My restarter one, it's only, it's only a short little vid, but it's quite sweet because it shows Torchic using Scratch, and I think that's such a cute little move to do. It could be kind of sad. Right, oh well. Look at that. 
it looks as good as the, my very ever first gym badge I got all those years ago. I'm back again on my Pokemon adventure. So guys, we'll catch up with you in the next gym battle. And then hopefully my team have leveled up and I'll be able to show you who I've got with me and what we're doing now. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Also, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And keep tuned for more Pokemon adventures coming soon.